When the orphanage closed in 72, a needs assessment was done by the community and they determined school age daycare was what families here needed, professional families. And what I love about that program, which to this day is our oldest program, Parents need to be working or in school full-time, and then their fee is dependent on that. When the daycare program opened, you know, I worked in daycare, and then I realized I got to go. I applied at the University of Chicago, which accepted me. So when I was then getting ready to go to graduate school, that year I drove the school bus for daycare. And Rudy and I have some old, we were so young. Skinny little things with this, you know, I had a perm, and, you know, here we are. I'm on the standing on my 92-passenger bus. And then I said to Marianne, look at the yard out here. This was a patio, and I planted tulips. I did gardening. I planted tulips. After we started foster care then in 82, about a year or two in, Marianne and I looked at each other. We had one little boy. He never even, he didn't know anything. He had been locked in a closet in the projects as discipline, as, as punishment. And so when we got him, I brought him into Oak Park, 3 a.m. We used to do placements in the middle of the night. It was all dark. And here at the front porch of this foster home, brightly lit, on the front porch was a chair with a stuffed animal that said, Welcome, so-and-so. And I said, Look at that. We come into Oak Park. He goes, Are we in China? And I said, What do you mean? He goes, Where are we? Because he had not been exposed to the mm-hmm. world. These kids bring with them the chaos that they've lived. Just like that, that saying that children learn what they live, they can't help it. That's all they know. When my mother died, I was 50, 70 years, the darling angel of my life. And I said to myself, these kids did this when they were three, five, seven, and they lost their mothers. How did they handle that? Everything I live, I think about these children. How could they have handled that at this little young age? And then you know what they're feeling. Right? You understand? Because you see in front of you the results of what that's done.